Hey everybody, how you doing? We're going to implement some work folders in Windows 8 and 2012 R2. Let's get started. First we need to go in and create a certificate. So we're going to go over here to our server, get rid of that screen, and come down here under my server certificates, and actually go out and request a certificate for my web services. So let's go in here, we're in a domain, we're going to do this internally, so we're going to create a domain certificate. Under my actions, I'm clicking on Create Domain Certificate. Once the dialog comes up, we'll be able to submit our certificate request. I'm going to put in the common name of the server, which is lun-server3.datum.com. And we're in the IT department over here in the IT unit over here in Allentown, PA. Got to get that right. And we have a certificate authority internally and a datum certificate authority. My root certificate authority is going to issue a certificate out here to LUN-Server3. We'll make the friendly name match the certificate name of the actual computer name. Now as I finish that, it should send a request to the domain controller and we should get back a certificate. Now this server could be internet facing or internal and the certificate will allow us to synchronize a work folder with our client and have the data being transferred between the client and the server synchronized and also encrypted. There we go. Now let's make sure that the certificate is bound to our web server. We'll come down there under our default website and go over to our bindings. And we can see we have no certificate bound here, so let's add it in. We'll go down to our HTTPS, and then down here we see the certificate that we just issued. We'll go OK, close it out, and we, now we have a certificate bound to our web server. Now what we'll need to do is go over into the server and add in the work folder service. We're going to walk through and add the role under our file and storage services. We should see work folders. There we go. And we'll add in IS Web Services if they're not already installed. Then we would have to go back and actually create that certificate again if Web Services was not installed. Now once we get this service installed, we'll go in to our dashboard on Server Manager and we'll configure our Work Folder Synchronization folder. Then we'll go to our client and configure our client to configure itself and synchronize with the web services. Our installation succeeded. So let's go now into our file and storage services and we should see work folder show up. We click in there and go up to our tasks and we'll be able to create a new sync folder that our client will sync its data to. As we walk through this interface, we'll be applying the sync folder to the same server we added the certificate to. Alright, we'll use the browse out and lose the local path of C drive. We'll create a folder here called sync folder. Select that folder and move on with the interface. Now we can use a user alias maintaining compatibility with existing user folders, or again use a user alias at our domain, which eliminates conflicts between identical user aliases. If we have disjoint or non-domain joined computers, we'll use the alias, otherwise if our computers are domain joined, we might go with the alias at domain. There's our name. And again, we can add in synchronization groups. All right, but we're disabling inherent permissions and granting exclusive rights to anybody logging in here. But let's add in domain users. There they are. And we can move on. And obviously we want to encrypt the work folder, especially if we have remote clients and automatically lock the screen and require a password based off an idle timeout. and we're off and running.
we'll go with the default sync share and add in our domain users check the name for domain users bring them on in go next we could encrypt work folders and we'll go with the default settings and our sync share is complete now all we need to do is go over to the client and get logged in here and have the user go up to the sync share let's get logged into our client <clears throat> for a remote client he'll go into control panel right down here I'll go into control panel on Windows 8.1 we can go up there and do a fast search for work and we should see work folders. Let's go in and set up work folders. Since he's a remote client, he'll have to enter the URL in of the external web server, which for us should be https colon slash slash lun dash server three dot datum dot com. He should be able to see it with DNS resolution. Let's go out and find that server. All right, the server got found. Introducing work folders. Up on the server, we'll actually have a work folder, and then it'll synchronize down here to our client. With this being said, we could have encrypted work folders, especially for remote users, requiring a password to sign into your PC and automatically locking the screen, and erase all work folders, for example, if you lose the PC. So the security policy allows us to actually remotely wipe this data off the work folder if the PC gets stolen. Let's accept that policy and move on. Work folders are starting to synchronize. Now it'll come up and immediately take me into my work folder on this PC and data I create here should synchronize up to the server and then any, can, any device that I would actually create on another server where I get my work folders. So in essence any computer I log into where I get my synchronization of the work folder will synchronize the data to those computers. And then it'll tell me how much availability or space I have on the server and tell me the last time the server was synchronized. And if I'm slow connections, I can sync over metered connections and sync even when I'm roaming, especially on mobile clients. Thank you.